you feeling really fancy in this thing? You want to have a sunroof? I'm feeling really fancy today. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it. Stay safe, luggage. Birthday waffles. For the birthday boy. The liege waffles. The liege waffles are the superior waffles. I love my birthday because I get to go into the chocolate places and stuff and you don't get to stop me from buying chocolate. That was awesome, my moustache. No, it's gone now. Of course, we have to get freaks again because it's my birthday and calories don't count on your birthday, right? Nope. It's been a pretty good birthday so far. We basically just relived our first day. <laughs> but now we're going to get on our train to Ghent. So we just arrived in Ghent and the first thing we're greeted to when we get to the train station is probably the biggest bike parking lot I've ever seen. I have never seen this many bikes in one parking lot in my life. This is the entrance to our reception to our hotel. This is like the coolest hotel lobby area I've ever seen in my life. We're staying at the 1898 The Post. It used to be a post office. This is one of the nicest hotels we've ever been in. Customized umbrella. Here's the bathroom. Oh, so luxe. Robes. Yes, robes. Good job. Oh, this pencil case is cool. I bet you can buy it. This is what the, the key card comes in. Oh, what's that? This is decoration. Looks like a king bed. And then over here is the mini bar. Like right in the middle of the city. Happy birthday. Very extravagant corridors. It does look like a castle. <gasps> There's more rooms. I really wanted to open that and look out. Oh, this is the second entrance. I keep getting lost in the hotel. And this is the streets outside our hotel. Do you know what I'm loving about being my birthday? You're navigating. I hate navigating. She hates navigating. If you don't know, I navigate absolutely everywhere. Most, mostly because she hates it, but also mostly because she sucks at it. Hey, I got us to the hotel. Yeah, she did get us to the hotel. I'm going to get us to dinner. Tell me your theory of why, why I'm good at navigating. Because you play lots of video games and you have to look at a map. Yeah. That's a good theory. Yeah, when you play PUBG, you always know which way is north. You're always like, there's guys at east or whatever. I'm like, how do you know which way is east? Because there's a compass. It's a solid theory. Video games help you learn to navigate. So hear that everyone? Keep playing video games. We got a sushi boat. It looks amazing. Looks so good. Sushi boat. Saying goodbye to our beautiful hotel and we're just gonna go and explore Ghent today. How cute Ghent is! Oh. Hotel's in like such a good location. Where are we going? Mm. You're the navigator today, remember? Oh yeah. Okay, for breakfast slash lunch we've come to this place called Fitchen. Right. And we got little bowls of salad. It's called avocado chick. This is apple. This is strawberry and the yellow one are uh, lemon. Famous noses of Ghent. They are the noses of Ghent. And there's some sort of like candy that's filled with raspberry, I think. So I was reading there's at least two stalls here in Ghent that sell them. And they're like literally next to each other. And they both sort of compete with each other. This is the noses of Ghent. <laughs> oh, hard. Not that hard. Ooh. Mm. That's so good. It's sweet and fruity. It's like a jelly, but it's like gooey. But it's kind of like soft and hard on the outside. There are so many different flavors. I wish I got a mix pack now, actually. Yeah, do you guys like how his hat matches his jacket, which matches his bag? <laughs> it's called color coordinating. <laughs> I have a color that I like, and it's this color. Zuvelbrug. Yeah, that's how you say it. Is that the bridge? I think that's the bridge. I can brug his bridge. Yeah. Maybe. Look at me learning Dutch. 
It's the only size they have that would fit in our bags. Looks cool, it's Ghent. That must be the building that was on that big postcard. <laughs> Can we go in there? So we've come to Gravenstein Castle. That's the one from the outside. Called Castle of the Counts. And we're about to go get an audio guide. Everyone said the audio guide's meant to be really cool and funny. People compared it to Monty Python. I don't know how loud I'm speaking. Because <laughs> we have like the biggest headsets on in the world. Such good um, sound quality. It is. So basically we follow these like drawings. It's the Gravestein. And that's the dungeon tower. And the guide said that it's slanted backwards so they could drop rocks on people's heads easier. It's actually quite humorous. Where do you stand on the whole before or uh, before or on the use by date? Before. Yeah, before. Things should be used before that use by date. Because it's used by that date, not used on that date. You only get it if you can listen to the audio guide, I think, because it's like a little joke that it keeps making. It's been a while since so I walked up a spiral staircase in a castle. That's the first fireplace in Ghent. The first fireplace in Ghent. Oh. Let's look at all these old weapons. Crossbows, spears and pole arms. More crossbows. Guns? It's a gun. More guns. Yep, that's you. Look at that sword. Okay, we're on the roof of the castle, on the top of it. It's funny because this audio guide actually doesn't tell you an awful lot about the history of it too much. It just tells funny stories about it. If I like it. Yeah, that Sally likes it because it's entertaining. <laughs> All I know is the castle was like 1180 it was built. I don't know if it's true or not, but they were saying the Count, because he had to go up and down the stairs so much, he, he would have had really thick thighs and he couldn't fit into the pants. And that's why there's always pictures of him in a skirt and leggings. I can't see over this, but if I do this, everyone else can see over it. I'll check out the view later. And there's a flag of Flanders or something maybe. And there's the river down there. This room here is the Count's room. Am I allowed to play the harp? That way it's here. It's horribly out of tune. I think Sally's enjoying the art that they put here more than the castle and she can't hear me right now because she has headphones in and that's what's funny that's why she's looking at me this room's, this room's pretty cool took us through to the torture chamber now now we're walking around the outside of the castle it's a toilet oh it just goes straight into like the, the river i love medieval toilets this would be funny We haven't had a chocolate in Ghent yet. We haven't had Ghent chocolate. One. One. Okay. This place smells exactly like chocolate. But like lots of it. It's the best smelling place I've ever been in. Have to do our regular chocolate tasting. We got it from Cedric Van Hoeburg. We got one each. One each. We restrained ourselves. It says on the thing, proudly handcrafted in Ghent. This is on the wall right behind you. They'll be able to see oh, that. Solid. Mm. It's so thick. It's not too sweet. It's classically Belgian. Yeah, classically Belgian. I think that's one of the best chocolates I've had. It was so good. It was better than the one yesterday. Way better. Rich, smooth, creamy. Mm. Everything you love about Belgian chocolates. Do you want to go on a boot trip? I love Dutch. Okay, we're leaving Ghent now. Um, we just got to the train station and we are going to get a train to Bruges. So here we are in our hostel room. We're staying at the Snuffle Hostel. It's not as nice as last night, but it's, uh, it's okay, I'll do. Do you guys like my new hat? We have a map with a plan. This is what I see right now. It's Bruges. Mm, then we just have arrived from the shop. See, it's like sandwich shop. Brazzy's sandwich shop. Really, really good. So we showed you the map before, but today we're navigating with nothing but this map, which doesn't sound too special because, I don't know, people have navigated around towns and Bruges is quite small. 
However, for us, we use Google Maps all the time. It's a pretty big challenge for us. So Sally's been to Bruges five years ago. Actually, I stayed at the home of this hotel. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I don't remember this. So apparently this is new from five years ago. Sally's the expert on Bruges. She's going to be giving us all the information on Bruges. <laughs> Guys, look at those dogs right there. Anyways, this here is the Belfry. And it's... Yeah, it started ringing just on cue. Mm. And it has bells in it. And they ring. Now you know what it does. And did you know it used to be taller? Because there used to be a wooden structure at the top. And they rebuilt built it twice, but it got struck by lightning. Okay, so I found out about this app. It's called Ho Hoognude? 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 I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen. Anyway, basically, it shows you all the public toilets in the area. And you can also see it on the map. Which, if you're anything like me, and you have to pee all the time, it is so handy. Okay, we're inside the Belfry, Belfort. I think it's not many names. The Belfry Tower, as we said before. We're inside the courtyard area. Clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Ruined my footage, horse. And what I'm loving about walking through these streets, through these little Belgian towns, is the smell of waffles. So this is just called, on the map, Berg. 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 I don't know what it is, this is called Berg. There's actually a beer shop here somewhere that I'm trying to find. With the awesome like marching band behind us, I'm going to walk into a beer shop and feel really, really triumphant about it. Okay, so this is a tiny little beer shop. And right next to the beer shop and in the Berg as well and near the band and everything. So in the Berg, there's this place called the Holy Blood Basilica. And what's so important about it? Well, there's like a jar or something of um, blood and they believe it's Jesus' blood. Oh, that dreaded no camera sign. What a shame. Look at me, I'm still navigating with the map. This is where we are, down some little street. I haven't gotten lost yet, definitely haven't. There's all these amazing little canals here in Bruges. Bruges attracts, what, six million tourists a year? Which is, at some points, there is more tourists here than actually people living. This is one of the windmills here, but I don't think it's the best one. It looks like if you look that way, there's another windmill. I think that's the one you can go up. So we might go up there and get a view. Sally said that Bruges is famous for chocolate. Whether she's correct or not. I don't know, but I thought Bruges was famous for chocolate. Then how come I haven't had any chocolate yet? Well, we haven't been to that part of the map yet. Oh, we need to go to the chocolate part of the map. The windmill's windmilling. Windmill. Just gonna stare longingly up at the windmill. Because I didn't realize it cost money to go up there. I thought that I'm poor. I just don't have any cash on me. <laughs> this is the view we get. This is the cheapskate vlog. Oh my god. I have this... Fun fact, I have a photo of the exact door. <laughs> really? Yeah. You took a photo of it five yeah. years ago? Yeah, because I thought it was cool. Is it still cool? Yeah. Do you want to take another photo of it? Sure. <laughs> oh. I think this is what I was thinking that other beer shop would be like. Look at how much beer there is. Gonna be having some of that soon. Oh my god, this beer shop has a fireplace in it. This is the coolest beer shop I've ever been in. Alright, so we're at this canal where there's a legend that it used to be so clean that it was filled with all kinds of fish and you could catch them all really easily but you had to avoid an eel. And then this guy came and he accidentally caught a golden eel which dragged him into the water and then from then all the eels disappeared. And supposedly in the moonlight you can still see a golden hand reaching out and there's meant to also be a carving of a hand grabbing an eel out of the stone in the bridge but we can't see that so on the map this is where the hand carved into the bridge is meant to be we can't see it and this is the other side of the bridge so if you guys can see it please let us know this map's been really disappointing and i feel like it's given us a terrible tour of bruges so we're going to throw it away and we're going to do our own tour 